if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 23 The Petrified Garden Survival Difficulty Class 4 Unsafe Overgrown Medium Entity Count Level 23 is the 24th level of the back rooms. Description Level 23, otherwise known as the Petrified Garden, is a massive, planetoid-sized superorganism comprised primarily of several intertwining tree specimens resembling those found in the front rooms. Despite having a gravitational pull extremely similar to that of Earth's, the MEG estimates that the surface area of level 23 is approximately the same as the dwarf planet Ceres. Travel throughout the level is possible due to pockets of air and winding tunnels inside the level's surface, similar to a large cave system. Most entities live underneath the surface in these areas. The level contains vulpes, hounds, clumps, smilers, death rats, male and female death moths, and curabiter birds. There are also several unknown native entities that live in the glow rooms that resemble front rooms animal species. Research on them is currently underway. Wranglers can also be found, although very rarely. The surface of level 23 is an extremely dense forest that lets little to no light through. There is no day or night cycle on this level. A star is visible in the sky above the surface canopy, but it never changes from its position, even when traversing the surface of the planet. The MEG has determined that the entire planetoid is permanently bathed in sunlight from all directions. The trees that comprise level 23 are extremely variegated. Their front room's counterparts come from all different types of habitats. Some of the most common trees in level 23 are Douglas firs, aspens, mahoganies, redwoods, cedars, cypresses, and white oaks. Though many trees are exotic, endangered, or even extinct in the front rooms. In addition, several trees have been seen that cannot be identified as any known species of tree from the front rooms. Glow rooms. Under the surface of the level, there are several large open caverns where trees inside the level may grow into and sprout leaves. These caverns are lit by endemic entities called Gardener's Saris. The Saris act very similarly to glowworms and are bioluminescent, showcasing a variety of different colors. They get their names from the strange sounds they emit at all times, which sound like voices whispering. Sorry. These rooms are large enough to appear like underground forests. In addition to trees, many smaller flora thrive here, such as glowing fungi and bushes. The air is very damp and cool in these places, and these areas house the highest concentrations of entities. The Ancient Ruins The strangest part about the glow rooms is that many abandoned, Ruined structures can be found deep within their forests. These structures are almost always overgrown and covered in moss and fungi. They bear an uncanny resemblance to famous front room buildings, but with significant differences. A pyramidal lighthouse of Alexandria, a spherical great pyramid, a square colosseum, and a triangular Parthenon have all been found. Inside these ruins are multiple artifacts that bear a resemblance to historical artifacts across many time periods from the front rooms. The most common artifact is pottery 
but some damaged paintings and cloth have been found. One thing that these artifacts all have in common is that they are significantly worse in quality than their front room's counterparts. Writing, usually in the form of faded, hastily made messages, can be found on the walls of these structures. These words are always written in Latin. No buildings resembling any structure built later than 1000 AD have been found on this level. The Buried Centuries When inside level 23, it is highly advised that you do not utter the words, it's only a matter of time. Doing so will awaken the buried sentries. These entities are thought to be trapped inside the walls of wood and bark, unable to do anything but scream. Upon uttering this phrase, the sentries will proceed to do just that. Depending on the number of sentries within earshot, the resulting sound can be loud enough to burst eardrums. Several wanderers have reported that the screams sound like rusty chainsaws cutting wood. The Heart of Water The core remains the most unexplored part of the level. It has been reported to be hollow. A spherical ceiling encloses the core, supported by the trunks and branches of the green giants that grow from the center. Some trees grow downwards into this space, while others grow out of it. This area of the level is the lushest, housing strange flora and fungi that cannot be found anywhere else. Several species of exotic wildlife dwell on the massive branches of the giants that extend into the open air. At the very center of the planetoid is its heart, the Heart of Water. Completely surrounded by the entangled roots of the giants, the heart is a massive water reservoir that feeds the entirety of the level. This water is absorbed by the giants and expelled through their leaves into the open cavern above. Then, roots of the trees on the ceiling take in condensed water vapor and ferry it into the glow rooms. More water vapor is released into the rooms, which is collected by both the roots of the trees growing on the surface and the roots of the trees growing downwards back into the core. By using bioluminescence from the saris and the natural, permanent sunlight, these trees gain enough energy to survive. The Green Giants The green giants are massive trees that grow out of the core of the planetoid. They are taller than the tallest trees in the front rooms, the largest green giant measuring approximately 2 miles 3.2 kilometers tall and 60 feet 18.3 meters wide. The green giants are responsible for supporting the inner ecosystems of the planetoid, both by distributing water vapor to the other trees and by providing habitats for other flora and fauna to live in. It is unknown how old these trees are, as no attempts have been made to cut them down. These trees are essential to the stability of the level, and thus must not be tampered with. The Gardener's Failed Earth The following plaque was found at the base of the ruins of the Great Sphere in one of the glow rooms on level 23. It has been roughly translated from Latin. The Architects Overgrown we dedicate this great sphere of Giza to the Great Gardener, in hopes of forgiveness for the great wrong we have committed. Already our purple eyes have turned green. We have started to return to the Earth, forgotten and overgrown. Our only hope is that, alone and petrified, we will not disappear, as architects of a failed project. Bases, Outposts, and Communities MEG aka Major Explorer Group Base Seedling, an exploration, anthropology, and research base established within a glow room on level 23. Current population is approximately 30 active members and 5 rescued volunteer wanderers. Friendly and open to trade. Armed with almond water squirt guns to dispel entities. Area has been cleared of any hostile entities. Area is free of buried sentries. Limited access to food, but has a steady supply of water. 
guards the only known, consistent exit out of level 23. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Level 23 can be entered through massive hollow trees found in level 37 and level 47. These trees will be significantly larger than other trees around them, and will have conspicuous green bark. There is also another hollow tree entrance in the Crimson Forest that will lead to base seedling. Level 23 can also be entered through a hollow log-shaped structure in level 121. Exits Upon entering the water reservoir at the core of the level, you will be randomly noclipped into the middle of the ocean in either level 7 or level 121. There is also a chance to noclip into one of the exhibits in level 43. In the center of base seedling, there is a hollow tree that will take you back to the Crimson Forest. This exit serves as a two-way gateway between the Crimson Forest and level 23.